Welcome back this morning. It is What's to Eat. We got Chef Jessica Bright joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I certainly appreciate it. You know, this is kind of the fun thing. It kind of reminds me as a kid, my mom taking me grocery shopping and always, what is all this, you know, and kind of teaching. <laughs> We've got an array of stuff up here. We have, and you'll notice it's a rainbow of color, too, mm -hmm. which, you know, we're supposed to incorporate a lot of color for a lot of nutrition and a lot of fresh produce here. And, you know, what did you normally think of when you thought of school lunches? Um, not really the best stuff in the world. <laughs> Probably not good for you. I mean, I enjoyed them, but, you know, they, they weren't the healthiest things, you know. Well, I mean, it gets kind of boring. You know, yeah. there are only so many turkey and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches you can enjoy when you reach a point you're kind of bored with it. Yeah. So this, th well, this morning, uh, Chinese peanut noodle salad. Yes. Whew. Say that two times. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. A lot of different combinations there. Yeah. So I actually have the ingredients already measured okay. out here, and I have put some together here. So I took some okay. noodles. You're welcome to try that. We'll if try you it want. a little bit as you kind of show us how. I made a sauce by combining um, coconut milk, peanut butter, and a little bit of fresh ginger root and some um, soy sauce, or you can use tamari if you want to go gluten free. Oh, you got a little. Pretty, bit. Just I, kidding. See, I'm a messy eater. <laughs> But you just mix the sauce together in a saucepan. You can okay. even do it in the microwave. And then you combine that with um, whatever kind bit? of noodles you want. Not germaphobe here. <laughs> we'll try both. And I've added some frozen green peas and some chopped peanuts and some carrots. So all that goes together in a really delicious Asian-inspired salad. If you like hot sauce, you can add a little of that to it. You want a little bit prefer. of a kick to it. Absolutely. So the prep time for it is pretty quick. Very quick. And it's the kind of thing that you can make it on Sunday and enjoy it for several days during the week. So then you have a really delicious. Exactly. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Helpful. And you, and Matt, you do, do that, that a little bit. I always make my horrible old eggs and have them throughout the entire week. That sounds really boring, Matt. So let's do something <laughs> better. All right. I can't do exciting. Put it on the back. All right, we're going to make a burrito that's totally different for you to enjoy. Okay. Your lunch. I like these hot or cold. Um, you can, of course, warm them up if you prefer. And we've taken some fresh sweet potato and we've yeah. tossed it in a combination of paprika, cumin, and coconut oil, which they're finding is really good for you. And we've roasted those so they have oh, that wow. delicious flavor. So I'll let you spread some of those yeah. on there the you burrito. Go. That's I'll put you to work up. And good. you don't get off the hook either. I'll oh, let you put these are some black beans and they're canned black beans, but it's really important because of all the sodium right. to rinse them before you use rinse them. Rinse them out. Okay, rinse that's them out. great. Okay. Wow, Good that out. looks we delicious. Yes. And then we're going to, this has already been washed, put a little bit of cilantro on that. And of course, Good. the best thing with this, if you want more beans, add more beans. If Absolutely. you want a little bit more of this, put... And then we're going to put some um, cheese. And this is actually yeah, Chef, kind of which is a soft goat cheese. Okay. It, it's very similar to some of the Mexican cheeses that are popular. So then you roll this up like a burrito. If you like, do you like hot sauce? I can put some hot oh, sauce. Maybe a little light. A little? A little light. Max is going big in this morning. I've been there for several hours. <laughs> It's time for the hot sauce. <laughs> I like this. This is a local sauce from Quincy, actually. Oh, local. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's Even better. Hot. Support local farmers yes, there. Absolutely. I like that, too. And the great thing with, the lo is with some of these products, too, you can get them locally with a yes. lot of the local farms around here, Which too. is really the heart of what I try to teach at mm -hmm. my cooking school, Kitchen Able, which is at Lake Ella. So I really like to support the local community. N nice little view right there. Yes. You kind of learn how to cook all this stuff. <laughs> and actually, some of the herbs today came from my herb garden. No kidding. Yes. You know, as sometimes local as it too, gets, <laughs> yeah. for sure, right? <laughs> well, I didn't get anything out of your parking lot today. No, <laughs> we're, we're no, gonna, we don't have much in our parking lot. It's we're going to call this the Max. I'm going to let Max oh, try that. Oh, you let me out. try? Oh, oh. opening up. Oh, hold that there. together well, there. Hmm. That was you strategic. Know, I want to ask you, too, you know, the inspiration, motivation for, for people maybe just starting out, because they may look at all this and say, hmm. you know what, it looks like a lot. So how do you motivate people and, and really share with them, look, it may seem oh, like goodness. a lot at first, but it's simple, it's quick, you can do it. Well, in my classes, I really like to point out that it's culinary art, not culinary science. Oh, there you go. So even though there may be some aspects you want me to plate for you? I'm that you are ruining this. I'm learning this. I just He's like not a professional that's Peter. Why, that's, why, that's why I stick with the hard boiled oh. eggs. <laughs> oh, I love it there. Although he did win the hot dog eating contest as well. Wow. No, oh, this is super good. Thank you. Thank Max you. Is all with good the there. sweet potatoes. Exactly. Those spices really add I a lot. I love it. Thank you. Chef thank you. Jessica Bright, thank you very much. We're going to have more thank details you. for you as well. The whole recipe, you'll be able to find it up on the Sunrise section of mm, our website, WTXL.tv. Thank you thank very you. much. Thanks so Thanks for, for your swimming help. by. Oh, yeah, I did so much. So. <laughs> I love it. We got more Sunrise Rocks Plus talking about Jimmy Jam 3 coming up right after this.